Welcome back. Well, our Fred Anderton has come out of retirement to bring us 12 days of You Asked. He joins us now live for the newsroom to kick off what we can look forward to. And Fred, welcome back. How's retirement going? Uh, Nick, uh, it's tremendous. Uh, you're going to have to try it in a few years. <laughs> yeah, uh, a few. But it, it, I've been really busy uh, after I left CH, uh, and I owe everything to CH because they've given me so many opportunities in this community. I, I started my own company producing video biographies. Just recently, we've started doing student athlete videos, and uh, you know, it's been great. Um, as I said, I'm really busy, and virtually every day, uh, someone asks me about you ask. That's a lot of fun talking to these viewers because, you know, they really enjoy the segment. I think they enjoyed it as much as I enjoy doing it. My favorite all-time segment was about a, an interesting character in Welland. He was loud and he was proud, and when you see his story, you'll understand why. Welcome to my office. Cheryl Adams would like to know who did the wood carvings on Merritt Island in Welland. Meet Jean-Pierre Gauthier. How you doing? My name is J.P. Gauthier. This is what I do. And this is the way that I look at life. What used to be beautiful for 100 years and unfortunately passed away. Instead of cutting it down and making it into firewood, I'm just showing you what, basically, the beauty that's hiding inside the wood. I brought it back to life. JP was commissioned by the city of Welland to bring dead trees back to life on Merritt Island. When I first looked at this tree, I saw this stump here, the branch, and it represented an elephant's trunk. So I've got the elephant, and then the side of it, there's his belly, the ears, his feet, hind quarter. Now over here, I've got the little baby bear. And I've got mama bear. Although he prefers to work with a chainsaw because it's fast, JP can also do finer work. This piece here, the Last Supper, uh, that took about six months. JP got into wood carving so he could spend quality time with his son, Curtis. He was born with a heart defect and uh, if you can't run and play like the other kids, well then you know what, sit down and be an artist and that's what we had in mind. Curtis passed away but JP honors his memory by keeping a promise. The whole reason I'm doing this is because I promised him on his deathbed that uh, I would carve every day. Spiritually, I'll put you on my shoulders, hang on to my hat, and let's go carving. I'm turning uh, the death of a child into something positive, not negative. I, I'm turning it into something beautiful, not uh, something tragic. I thanked the good Lord I had him for 10 years, and uh, I got to know him. J.P. Goche keeps his son's memory alive by bringing nature back to life. Now, I talked to J.P. Uh, just a few days ago, and he suffered more hardships since we did that story. He came home one day to find his house engulfed in flames. Uh, he asked a firefighter to go inside and get him his last supper. Uh, well, the firefighter, uh, needless to say, gave him a kind of a funny look, but then when he explained that that was a, a wood carving, uh, the firefighter did indeed go inside the house and did retrieve the Last Supper for J.P. Nick. All right, a little bit of good news there, Fred. I have to say that's probably one of my most favorite U.S. segments as well. It really, it's touching. It covers all the angles there. But what else can we expect to see over the next couple of weeks with the best of? Well, one of the things, Nick, uh, I can tell you that I learned an awful lot uh, doing that series. So we're going to do one segment on some of the things I learned. And one of the things I learned right off the bat was never assume that you know the answer to a question. I think a lot of people will be able to relate to that segment. On Christmas Eve, we're going to do a segment related related to Christmas, a lot of interesting questions about that. And tomorrow night, uh, we're going to do a segment on Trisha Romance, a side of the Niagara and the Lake artist that uh, you're going to have a hard time believing, I think. All that because you asked. Yes, the familiar tagline, great to see Fred back. Well, with winter officially arriving just a few hours ago, it was anything but back to business along the eastern seaboard after a record.